it's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Kirkstall Brewery in wonderful Leeds. And this is a can of their Belgian Blonde. It's 5.5% ABV. It's in a 440 milliliter can. And it's just launched into Asda. It's three pound a can. Or if you wanted to buy four of these, pay three, get your fourth free then it works out at £2.25 a can because you buy three cans, you get your fourth free. Now, I've had some wonderful beers from Kirkstall. I really have. Um, their beers have been... They're one of these breweries for me that have always flown under the radar. Uh, you'll see their beers in supermarkets. You'll see it in Morrison's. see it in Asda. I'm not sure if you... If I've seen it in Tesco, that's another matter. Um, but they're one of them breweries. There's a lot of breweries out there that produce like really arty labels. Now, I think this is Kirkstall shaking things up a little bit here because they actually made a bit of a nice arty looking label here. But, but normally, can you see that kind of paisley style look on the can? Well, they normally produce this like paisley style can that that you can miss it. As much as I love their beer, you can definitely spot a Kirkstall beer because you've got to look for it. I mean, this is a bit different, but the paisley look that they used to have on their beers, you can quite quickly lose it in a supermarket shelf full of beer. And I think this is what they've done here. They've tried to correct that by saying, hey, look, People like to bike ride and have a look at the sheep in the fields. And they try to make things a little bit more interesting. And I think it's nice. It's a nice looking can. So without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. <coughs> little bit of smoke on the can opening. Being a Belgian blonde, I'm really pleased by that. 5.5%. We got a two finger white head on this one. Uh, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a hazy straw colored beer. Um, I want to get the bottom of the can in, being a Belgian blonde. It should be, we well, should get a little bit more haze than we have at the moment here. But it looks good. A little bit of haze coming through now, good carbonation. Yeah, it's a nice looking beer, nice head, good head retention. Let's get the aroma. Ooh. Oh yeah. You get that slightly sweet, tooty fruitiness of a Belgian blonde. There's a little bit of dryness coming through. Peppery, spicy. Belgian candied fruit. So I'll get into that story in a bit. I met a brewer once who um, described Belgian flavours to me. I'll talk to you about that in a, in a moment. But let's nail my own kind of thoughts on this beer before... We start talking about when I met a brewer 13 years ago. It smells good. It smells really good. It smells... I mean, you're going to compare it to Leffe, aren't you? If you're a supermarket beer buyer and you like Belgian blondes, then you probably tried Leffe. So you're probably going to compare this to Leffe. Leffe. I think it's a bigger, bolder version of left, to be honest. There's a little bit more of that kind of spicy clove, banana, Belgian candied fruit, spicy pepperiness. Smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
It's really good. Really, really, really good beer. Stone the Crows, Kirkstall. Again, Kirkstall makes some fantastic beer. They really do. I'm... Whenever I buy a Kirkstall beer, it tastes fantastic. And I'm always kind of like, yeah, this is brilliant. I'd love to visit their brewery. I would love to go up and visit Kirkstall Brewery because they're doing some fantastic things up in Leeds. To put this beer in the whole of Asda, in the whole of the UK, at this quality. They got some fantastic quality control at that brewery. They really have. And they know what they're doing. I was going to mention something earlier and it slipped my mind and it went away a bit from the aroma until I tasted it again. There's a little bit of a smokiness coming through. I'm definitely picking up a bit of a smokiness initially in the aroma. It then went from the aroma, but it's definitely in the taste there a little bit. A little bit of a smokiness in this Belgian Blonde. But it's very refreshing, very drinkable. Let's see if there's some, if the beer changes colour a little bit more. There you go. This, it has changed colour a little bit now. You've got that kind of, little bit of a more of a cloudy kind of, there's no sediment. If I'm looking in the bottom of the glass, there's no real sediment. It's, it's, a, it's a well kind of, I'd say it's been filtered, but not filtered to, not overly filtered, you know, all of the goodness. When you're filtering a beer, what you're basically doing, if you're over filtering a beer, or filtering at all for that matter, a lot of the goodness from the beer goes down the drain. And this is the reason why you see a lot of cloudy beers these days, is because they want all that flavor, they don't want to dump all that flavor in a gutter. They want that flavour in the glass. That's why beers are a little bit more hazy these days than they were, what, five, ten years ago. Great lacing, great head on the beer, great aroma. Smoky. Orange, a little bit of banana, a little bit of clove. It's a lovely beer. Belgian candied fruit. Right, Belgian candied fruit. I promised to talk to you about that brewer. Um, his name was Jim. And uh, Now, Jim Robinson. Jim Robinson worked for uh, Wells and Young's back in the day. And Wells and Young's were one of the first breweries to invite me down to their brewery and get me out of the kitchen for the first time. They said, come down, we'll show you around. I had a wonderful time there. Really wonderful time. And... Uh, drank their beer, reviewed their beer, and I got the chance to meet the the, the the head brewer. And what a lovely guy, what a lovely guy. And we got to one of his beers, and I think it must have been, so I can't, it was 13 years ago, it was a long time ago. I think it might have been a Belgian style beer. And he talked about Belgian candied fruit and Belgian candied sugars. And I was like, ooh, you know, this is new to me. I've not heard of this. And he explained it and uh, what, what, what a lovely guy he was. He's retired now. Retired now, but what a great guy. Jim Robinson. He also taught me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Uh, right, Kirkstall. Uh, the shared love of cycling and beer inspired this rustic Yorkshire-born twist on a Belgian blonde. Floral and fruity with a dry finish. Kirkstall Brewery, uh, follow them on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. That is a really solid beer. Uh, more than a solid beer, that's a really good beer for the money in, in Asda. If you're buying three cans and you get your fourth free, you're paying £2.25 for this can. That is a bargain, that is a steal. It's worth the three pound on its own if you just wanted to buy one can. It's worth it, it's good. Kirkstall have never let me down. Whenever I try a Kirkstall beer, it's always been at the utmost of 
good quality kind of product. It's always been good quality beer. And I like it when a brewery, when you see a brewery, there, there are other breweries out there, Salt Beer Factory, Kirkstall, you see their beers and you're quite confident to pick it up because you know it's probably going to be good. This for me, for the money, is a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.